Hey friends, this is a follow-up reflection from last night when we talked about habits and habit change and we compared that to shoveling a driveway, a long driveway, um, little by little and the change that's made over time when you really commit to it, but more importantly, when you allow God's grace to enter into it. So this is a follow-up reflection from last night. Habits help to determine the direction of our lives just the nature of it. If we get up at a certain time every day, the foods that we eat, the things that we do, so much is determined and it's very habitual in nature. So our habits really help to direct our life and the flow of our lives. They're very important. Yesterday, we talked about not just wanting to change our habits, but really opening them up to God so he can tell us directly, these are good habits and here's my grace to then pursue them. And here are the bad ones. And here's my grace to end and kind of terminate them. So really looking honestly, firstly, what are our habits? Just being aware of them. And then secondly, deciding what are the good ones? What are the bad ones? Letting God's grace help us to do that. And then thirdly, really asking and inviting God into that and saying, Lord, only you are going to help me to change and to actually make this habit or break this habit. So today... I went to get my car out of the snow, the frozen tundra, to head to work, and I realized that I was stuck in the driveway. The snow was frozen around my tires. I was not getting anywhere. So I was in the driver's seat. I was stepping on the gas, should go in reverse, nothing. As much as I was reversing, the car was not going anywhere. If anything, I was getting stuck deeper and deeper in the snow. I had to get out of the car get the shovel, and then literally really work and dig myself out. It was like frozen. It's like 18 degrees out this morning for those who are commuting in. Um, it's very cold, as you know. Anyway, something had to change. It wasn't enough just for me to step on the gas pedal. I had to get out of the car, get the shovel, and dig my car out. So God's grace is the grace of that shovel. So without the shovel, there's no way I would have gotten out. If anything, I would have entrenched myself in the snow that much more. So if we just try to change our habits based on sheer willpower, it's just not going to work. I mean, it might, but then we're going to either fall back into other habits or not even get the full benefit of the good ones that we're involved in. God's grace is always the key. The point is not just to change little things in our lives. It's not behavior modification. That's not what God wants or desires. It's something so much deeper. He desires not behavior modification, but heart transformation. And the way to that is to accept his grace, the grace of a shovel and a little bit of hard work to help get the car out of the driveway, the grace of whatever it is that he's bringing into your life. The greatest grace of all is his presence, that God does not leave us to our own devices. He enters into our mess or just our daily reality to help direct us in our habits and say, this is good, pursue this. This is not good. Stop that. And not only just to direct us, but to dive in to actually help us out, to really help us at the deepest level, a heart transformation, not just behavior modification. This is my prayer for definitely myself, for each one of you, for all of us, that God can really enter and we can allow him to enter and to be humble enough to say, Lord, this is what I got. And I ask for the grace. Please make me aware of my habits. Help me to identify what is good and what is bad of them. And then most importantly, help me to open them up to your grace. Please give me the grace of that shovel to break me free so I'm not stuck in my old ways, but to break me free into new life. That's the point of Lenten, the Lenten season, is to break us through to Easter, the gift of new life. So I encourage each of you. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.